Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Derek here of DH Music, and today I want to talk to you about not one, but two really great uh, Gretsch import guitars, and that is my Electromatic Pro Jet. Um, I think this is what they call a, looking at the specs here, GSR Limited Edition uh, Midnight Sapphire. Um, and I installed this Bigsby on it so it doesn't come stock with that. And then a, a Streamliner, uh, which is a really cool guitar. So I'll talk about that one in a second. But first, I want to talk about this one. Um, this is, again, an Electromatic Pro Jet. Originally, you can only get this guitar from Chicago Music Exchange, from what I gather. Um, but I got this one from Real Life Relics, uh, also known as Tricked Out Guitar on Reverb. So it does have a little bit of relicking done to it. Nothing too crazy just to make it feel a little bit broken in for you. And I really like that. Some of y'all may not dig it, but I do. Um, so what's funny is this is kind of a weird thing for me. So uh, when I saw it, you know, I, I, I've always wanted a Gretsch, but a couple things kind of tripped me up. I'm not a big fan of uh, single cutaway guitars, um, especially ones like this. It's kind of the Les Paul style. You know, it's just a little harder to get up here. And, you know, it's just different. It's not something I'm very used to. Tellys don't bother me, but Les Pauls and Les Paul body styles like this project uh, thing uh, kind of uh, it can be difficult to play um, if you're not used to it but I saw this one and it worked I just really like the way it looked and this beautiful kind of navy blue kind of thing with gold hardware I usually hate gold hardware um, and to the point where um, a couple years ago I had a 60th anniversary at least I think it was a 60th anniversary um, classic vibe 50 strat and Aztec gold and obviously I wanted it because uh, it looked like Lincoln Brewster's, but it had gold hardware on it. So I actually took a bunch of chrome hardware from another classic vibe strap, put it on there, and uh, preserved the gold hardware. Um, I actually think I put it on another guitar for a buddy of mine. But anyway, uh, I'm not a big fan of gold hardware, but on this guitar, it just works. Um, and then when I saw it, uh, I, I noticed that immediately and also noticed this guitar desperately needs a Bigsby, and it needs it like yesterday. So I installed it like yesterday. <laughs> And uh, it's great. Um, not the most professional install in the world. I don't know if you can see that, but you can still see the uh, post from the original bridge. Uh, honestly, if I was installing this for someone else, I would d do really good to take that off or try to make it to where you don't see that at all. But honestly, it's my guitar. It's kind of a relic thing anyway, so it doesn't bother me too bad. And if I decide I don't like it, you know, it's going to have a couple holes, but again, it's a relic. Who cares? Um, you may, but I don't. I think it looks fine. And it, and why would you not want a Bigsby on this? It looks beautiful. So anyway, so, uh, and this has some um, pretty standard Gretsch uh, Filtertron style pickups in it, and they sound fantastic, if you ask me. So let's hear that, and then I'll compare them to the uh, broad, uh, Broadtron pickup center and the Streamliner. So right now I'm running through my Pod Go, running through the Dr. Z Route 66 amp model with the matching cab, mic'd with an AKG C414 and a little bit of spring reverb, and on the neck pickup, sounds like this. Got some bite to it. Stick to your pentatonic stuff, Derek. Don't get too fancy. All right, and then moving uh, to the middle position, uh, sounds like this. See, you weren't expecting to hear all that in a Gretsch review. You're probably expecting something like. Yes, that's the riff from Yoga Pants by Tim Hawkins. Yoga Pants. So soft and so sleek. Yoga Pants. Ooh. 
Feels good on my cheeks. <laughs> Yoga pants. <laughs> These are the best. If you're waiting for a video, don't hold your breath. <laughs> Hey, you know, Christmas is still six months away. Um, why not get this stuck in your head? <laughs> so, there you go. Now that's stuck in your head. All right, bridge, bridge pickup. Boy, things are weird today. Sorry, Beatles, don't get too mad at me. I don't know what that was. So pretty twangy. Um, I really like that, but personally, but really twangy, but not too harsh sounding in my opinion. Sounds really great. So let's kick on a little bit of drive. We've got the Scream 808 or the Ibanez TS-808 Tube Screamer model. Uh, starting on the bridge pickup. I don't know. I don't know why I do this to myself. That's especially weird me playing Hot for Teacher because uh, I was homeschooled and in Arkansas. So that's middle position. <laughs> Pick up. Oh, uh, I changed keys on you. Did you notice that? I'll be asking Derek, how did you go from A minor to C minor to F sharp minor to E minor and it all fit? Well, buddy, it didn't. So that's the next pickup. <laughs> all right, I'm in a weird mood today. This should get interesting. So uh, let's go to the streamliner because that's a pretty cool story. All right, so here is the Gretsch. I almost said my. This is not my guitar. This is a Gretsch Streamliner. 
G2622. Um, so this is not my guitar. This is actually my dad's. Um, he doesn't know it's his yet. Um, so I gotta wait before I upload this video. But this is kind of a uh, late Father's Day present uh, from us, meaning myself and my sisters, uh, to him. Um, he had an old, I uh, shouldn't say old, it's not that old, but a 70s uh, Epiphone uh, hollow body uh, type thing. I'm trying to remember the model number. but Oh, look, there goes the pick. Story time. Um, so anyway... So he had that, and uh, he's been talking about wanting to play electric. He's also on the worship team with me. He's actually our worship pastor, and uh, he usually plays uh, acoustic guitar, and you know, he's been talking about wanting to play more electric, and I'm like, well, we got you that hollow body. Uh, why haven't you been playing it? And uh, he said he thought the switch might have been bad, so I thought, you know, for Father's Day, because uh, he doesn't have time to break into all that and fix it, and he's not very familiar with guitar electronics anyway, so... Uh, I said, well, for Father's Day, let, I'll fix it up for you. I'll get you some new electronics and um, all that stuff. And I was going to soup it up, and it was going to be really nice and everything. And we're going to get him a nice case and everything. Actually, uh, pretty similar to that case right there. Because um, it's that crappy 70s cardboard <laughs> case that it came with. And uh, basically, um, I checked out the switch. The switch was fine. The pots were fine. The wiring was fine. The pickup had completely died. It is just completely unraveled uh, i loosened the pickup ring not the pickup just the pickup ring to take it out and when i did like uh the north coil just fell into the body so it had long bit the dust and i looked high and low to try to find replacement pickups and couldn't find any and thought about trying to get them rewound or whatever and just couldn't find any and i was talking to my sisters about it and you know we just kind of figured you know for the money we would spend trying to do that ultimately to fix a guitar that wasn't really that great to begin with i mean it was cool but really wasn't that great to begin with why don't we all kind of chip in and get him a really nice guitar so we got him this gretch and uh i'll be honest um dad if you're watching this you need to hurry up and come get this thing actually i need to hurry up and surprise you with it uh because the longer it sits in my house the less likely you are to get it because this is a great guitar let me grab my pick um and this has the uh, broadtron pickups in it um, i believe um, so they're humbucker size, and they're a little darker, actually quite a bit darker sounding, um, which is really cool. It's a really fat sound, which is the kind of tone he likes anyway. I'm more of a twangy kind of guy. At least that's the kind of sound I like. Um, so what I'm going to do is start on the uh, neck position. Uh, same preset. I turned off the tube screamer, and uh, let's hear what it sounds like. Also, this neck is huge <laughs> compared to that electromatic, uh, which I usually like big necks, but this is a big one. I don't know what that chord was. Real nice and creamy sounding. Um, I keep going to turn the tone up, but... That's as bright as it gets, which is fine. It's, it's kind of a cool, mellow, fat sound. All right, and moving to the middle position. That's, that's what I'm talking about. I got to turn this camera off. Things are getting weird. Bridge pickup. All right. So in my opinion, it's a little dark for me. You could probably compensate by... Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and because I want to give this guitar a good fair test, but I want you to see that it is much darker sounding. Um, bring the presence up a little bit. Maybe cut some mids. Getting closer. I'm going to bring the treble up just a tad. These 
seconds are just a lot hotter and a lot fatter sounding, which is intentional. Um, but you know, it is, you know, it's just one of those things. So uh, I'll run through the pickups again. I'm going to bring the drive back a little bit since these are a little hotter and, uh, yeah, let's hear what it sounds like again, starting on the next pickup. <laughs> Are you guys tired of me being an A? I've been an A for this entire video. Uh, okay, let's do a different key. Open strengths. Oh, we're back to A. Uh, somebody stop me. All right, so now we'll kick on the tube strimmer and start with the bridge position. It's not me. And if you know that song, you're on <laughs> He's going to be so mad at me after watching this video. <laughs> okay, middle position. Neck pickup. Nice and creamy. That was note for note. I'm pretty sure I've seen a live video of Slash playing it and it was basically like that, so. Yeah, you want to talk about weird key changes. Anyway, guys, I've been going on way too long. This guitar is great. This guitar is great. Really like these guitars. So if you are on the market for a Gretsch guitar and you think, hey, man, that Electromatic was just a little too bright for me, I think this one's going to be plenty fat for you. It's got a nice, fat, meaty neck on it. I mean, it's just huge, uh, which is great. Like I said, my dad's used to playing acoustic guitar, and he's got a Gibson acoustic that he plays it has a big neck on it so i think he's really gonna like this at least i hope he does if not i'll get it and i'll keep it ain't because i like it it sounds really great it's a little dark for me but i kind of dig it for certain tones um but anyway guys so that's been my review of this guitar as well as uh, let's see if i can do this this guitar work on your grip strength kids yeah so Anyway, if you guys are looking for a Gretsch, uh, it's actually not even a Gretsch style guitar. They're actual Gretsch guitars, uh, but you're not going to spend a lot of money. I mean, you can pick up both of these guitars for like four or five hundred bucks, and I think for four or five hundred bucks, these are way better than some of the four or five hundred dollar guitars that came out even since I've been a kid, since I started playing. So I think these are great values for the money. I really hope you guys like them and enjoy them. Let me know what you think about them in the comment section below. I am so sorry if I butchered a song that you like. Um, I just, I'm in a weird mood today. Uh, I don't really know why. I've had a lot of caffeine. It's, it's, it's been a long day. So I probably need to slow down a little bit, but rock and roll don't slow down either do I, baby. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, y'all have a blessed day. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, oh, so we're.